Hello folks and welcome back to Let's Play UFO Extraterrestrials. This is QuickMind. Go ahead and check something real quick. Alright, we got everybody coming back. One more day to go. And I uh, have everybody renamed as well. Uh, let's see. I think we're good to go. Yeah. Alright, let's go ahead and let time go. Alright. Okay. Wow. <laughs> One mission. That's kind of crazy, to be honest. Um, yeah, they didn't like how well we did, but eh, there's really nothing we could do right now. The important thing is we now have some money to mess around with. Uh, let's go ahead get another lab and another workshop for now. Alright, laser pistols done. LG-707 is a light and compact personal laser pistol emitting strong laser beam. The damage is relatively low and it is only suitable against targets with little protection. The absence of weapon kickback is a real advantage, giving the soldier greater control and accuracy in contrast to common projectile weapons. The accumulator is located in upper part of the weapon, supplying the laser emitter. Alright, not too bad. I don't think we're going to use any, maybe just one. We're going to go for the laser rifle next. Just like in UFO defense, or enemy unknown, you want to go for the laser rifle as soon as possible. I guess we'll build one of those and some of these. Uh, let's see, we're going to allocate 20. Where did I get? Oh, yeah. Uh, let's see, okay. All right, yeah, one workshop and two workshops. Okay, I thought that was the lab for some reason. So have two more days on that one. All right, not bad. All right, and then we need to come here and build some of these guys. Uh, not too many. So I think I'm only going to have one person use it for now. Uh, we're mainly waiting on the rifles. All right, let's go ahead and research a little bit quicker. Okay. LG or LG twelve o two is an attack laser rifle tailored to fulfill a design request of the counter alien forces, demanding a light, accurate, and efficient laser weapon with the ability to fire auto shots. The laser emitters are protected by a chassis made of durable alloys. The accumulator is located in the central part of the gun. During product testing, some problems with accumulator overheating appeared. Because of this, the laser strength had to be reduced. However, the beam strength should be enough for puncturing most known infantry armor types. So, very nice. We're going to uh, switch over to this. Here you can see uh, accuracy 160, damage 65 compared to the rifle. Uh, same accuracy, but uh, slightly higher damage, 50 to 65. Uh, let's see, and the snap and burst shots burst shots are actually slightly more accurate and it does cost a few more time units to use the laser rifle but it'll be more than worth it and the laser rifle is slightly heavier but that's okay so let's see what are we going to research next let's shoot for med kit that's actually pretty important we're okay with that. And we're going to head into production of the laser rifle. 
and the laser rifle ammo. Uh, we're going to build eight of these. And then we're going to want a lot of these. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think that ought to be good for now. Now, I haven't done the math, but this game actually uh, employs... Uh, oh, what's that phrase? Uh, diminishing returns. So, uh, like I said, I don't know the numbers, but when you get more technicians involved, uh, it's the progress slows down quite a bit to where, you know, it goes from, uh, you know, taking it down days by taking it down just a couple of hours per technician. But I think we're fine with 20, sticking all 20 on that. It's more of when you get to about, like, 30 or 40, when it's getting a little iffy to to put them all on one thing. Okay. Alright. UFO detected. Let's go ahead and let time go for a little bit. Uh, let's see. I'm going to have to pause it for just a sec, folks. Hold on. All right, folks, sorry about that. Had a really important fo uh, phone call come in. Let's go ahead and speed this up again. And, okay, slow down. Okay, it turned back this way, so let's let it come back just a little bit more. All right, I'm also kind of waiting so that uh, more of the night passes. All right, that should be good. Intercept. All right. There we go. Alright, so we're going to have to re-equip now. So go to base. Check out our troopers. Oh, yeah, Shrelock, by the way, you have 17 more days to go. Uh, I think you had 31 if I didn't show it in the last episode. Okay, so let's go ahead and get everybody on real quick. All right, and now I'm just going to go left to right, uh, re-equipping everybody. Why don't I go ahead and do that off-screen real quick, and I'll be right back. Yeah, I'm, I'm back, folks. I just realized, looking through this list, that uh, I have laser rifles built, but only two of them and no, uh, no ammo, so I don't have to re-equip anybody. So let's go ahead and intercept that. And, yeah, I guess I could have re-equipped here. I forgot. So, uh, green over here is probably going to be doing a little bit more of the killing. But we'll see. Let's go ahead and save it real quick. Yeah, that's a lot of game time that's gone by. Alright, let's begin that mission. Yeah, these aliens are a little difficult. Okay. Alright, let's go ahead and see where we're at. I think we're in... Oh, we might. Okay, yeah, we are in this corner. So that's not too bad. All right, got a larva here already. Let's go ahead and see if we can hurl a grenade. Can't throw there. I think it's uh, too far away, that's why. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. Alright. Can't shoot. Let's go ahead and uh, back up uh, very little. Oh, no way. Okay. Alright, got it. Okay, so we're going to have some healing we need to do now. Let's try it again. Now, the only bad thing is um, we have critical damage, which we can't heal. Okay, so that used all 35 of that. So that guy's pretty well healed. Yeah, we're back to full, but still with three critical wounds. It's going to take a little while to finish up. And let's swap that out. Now let's see. Can we take another step? Yes. Want to try to get out of that gas. Yeah, it always goes in intervals of five when you heal. All right, so that's uh, used up pretty quick. Let's see. Can we get Kenny out of there? Yeah, very nice. Okay. Go ahead and spread out a little bit. And uh, let's just go ahead and stop right there for now so we can help with these guys. Alright, can't turn. Alright, let's go ahead and end our turn. Okay. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and uh, swap back to a grenade since that's empty now. Grenades seem to be very useful at the beginning. Alright, scoot up a little bit. Alright, there we go. Kind of take our time, spread out, kind of cover each other, and make sure everybody has plenty of shots uh, when I do want to start shooting. Yeah, I gotta admit, I am uh, a little used to my stronger soldiers from my other saved game. All right. Let's go ahead and scoot forward some more. Oh, dang. Wow, they have a lot of AP reserved. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and shoot for this one first because we have a bunch of people that can shoot from up here. There we go. And uh, let's kind of scoot over. Alright, and come back this way. Let's see if we can toss that. Why not? Uh, 
That's strange. There we go. All right, we got to move. Okay, gonna stop right there. Don't want to uh, stretch out too much, because then we also waste AP for a reaction fire. All right, there we go. Your time has come. Can we hurl a grenade that far? Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, and that guy's up a level, too. No, not in the trees. I still did some damage, though. Let's see if an auto shot will do anything. There we go, and that's how you, uh... Uh, that's, that's how you grind some extra experience there. Do a little bit of damage and then kill him. Alright. Not sure how well this is gonna work. I'm gonna scoot up a little bit. All right, and this little icon here, uh, that's what you can click on uh, to click on the different enemies or to focus on them. Now, if it's red, that means they can be seen by that person. Although, uh, the reason why it's not red for this guy is because uh, I think it's a little bit outside of the sight range. Alright, very nice. Let's go ahead and kind of scoot out here. Alright, kind of scoot up here now. There we go. Whoa. That was close. Alright. See if we can toss another grenade. Right there? Yep. Whoa! Ah, but look at this. <laughs> Jeremy, you uh, killed someone that was hidden. Very nice. Let's see, can we do some shooting now? There we go. Good, no reaction fire. Uh, let's see, is there any left in that? Okay, that's what I thought. There we go. Let's go ahead and swap this around. There we go. Uh, yeah, the bad thing about like med kits and stim packs is at the end of each mission, uh, if they're depleted, they're completely gone. You have to build new ones. They don't get recharged or anything. It kind of stinks a little bit. Okay. Now let's see. It looks like she can still move. And then... Yeah, let's go ahead and do this. And we'll go ahead and end our turn. Or no, we'll move this guy. And I think that's good. Oh, and we're done. Look at all these promotions too. 
Very nice. Alright. Uh, oh, wait a second. No one gained a level? Oh, crud. I didn't, uh... I didn't look at that. Sorry, folks. Alright, some very minor uh, healing needed. Oh, that's weird. Okay. Yeah, well, no one gained a level. Must just been uh, the experience. All right. Oh my goodness! Here comes a long one. Medkit is a healing device designed for immediate use in fight. In, in a fight, it can deal with considerably wider variety of injuries than its compact predecessor, the stim pack. Our combat experience revealed the limitation of the stim pack to treating casual injuries. Its disability to treat a kind of more serious injury threatened the fighting capacity of our troops. Now we have a more thorough solution. Thorough examination of a captured alien provided our scientists with new intelligence eventually leading into an entire revolution in field medicine. The aliens provide or proved capable of employing stem cells in order to quickly and effectively repair damaged tissues. Something we had long applied, yet it had required both hospital conditions and a very long time. The, di the direst injuries still require an, equi an equipped infirmary. However, the new med kits based upon the newly obtained alien stem cells technology are coping with most wounds remarkably well. The device incorporates a quality vital functions analyzer encompassing genetic data of all soldiers on duty for a time being. It is easy, easily operated without any need of medical knowledge. The stem cells are directly applied to a wound. The med kit sees to it that they have been properly adjusted to focus on the damaged parts of the body. Unfortunately, the amount of stem cells in a med kit is limited. The medikit is a revolutionary and highly effective solution for treating serious injuries during a fight. So, pretty interesting there, and a mouthful. Um, and let's go ahead and let's go ahead and do the larva next. And I'll show you why when we're done with that. Uh, let's go ahead and save it. And let's go a little bit longer. Alright, another person healed. Alright. Oh my goodness. Okay. Larva is an alien attack unit. The nearly one me meter tall creature resembles a large, or a larva, or cocoon. For a long time, our scientists have failed to determine its origin. Now we know that a biological being undoubtedly makes up the substantial part of the monster. Much like other alien life forms we encounter in battle, the larva has been born purely for war. The thick and sturdy outer skin envelops a rather primitive creature only consisting of the most vital organs and a rather intelligent brain. Larva seeks out its victim in a quite unusual manner. The conventional senses are rather subdued and replaced by a variety of chemical and pressure detectors that are guessed to have their centers in the horn-like oh goodness, protu protuberance on the larva's head. Huge storage pouches filled with strongly caustic venom are also worth notice as they represent the larva's most formidable wep weapon. When in danger, the larva uses a pressure mechanism to squirt an amount of this substance at the enemy, whose armor is then melted, allowing the toxin to penetrate and ultimately kill the victim. Immunity to the chemical weapons is understandable as the larva are chemical weapons themselves. 
This creature's existence undoubtedly indicated the alien superiority to us in the area of biochemical engineering, and although the larva is already a dangerous adversary, notorious for terrorizing our civilians, we must be prepared for encounters with yet more advanced models. Wow. Okay. And actually, that did not unlock a research item I thought it would. Hmm. Well, let's go ahead and start on the advanced cannon. And I will see if I can find a tech tree uh, somewhere and find out what I uh, thought was wrong. Okay, 10 technicians remaining. I was like, wait a second. And as you can see, um, just putting one technician, you go up two hours, two hours, two hours, and it starts going by one hour after that. So let's just go ahead and leave this at 20, and let's start tossing technicians at this guy. And uh, we're going to need med kit pretty soon, too. The only bad thing is uh, money is a real big problem in this game. And uh, I started working on a uh, graph for uh, uh, what would be your like cash crop, pretty much. And I, I kind of stopped working on that after a while, so I, I need to get back into working on that as well. All right. Get some more of that done. UFO detected. Let's go ahead and intercept that. Oh, reappeared right there. Oh, landed in the water. Okay. Alright, research done on that. We can now research tank cannon. This weapon is a single barrel gas operated aircraft cannon. It fires a substantially harder hitting projectile more than twice the weight of the Canon CX100 23mm shell. The advanced cannon requires a muzzle brake with an integrated flame damp damper to prevent airframe damage from resulting due to its fire or firing. So uh, let's see, we got damage 11 to 18, uh, 29 accuracy, range 175. Uh, the regular cannon, uh, 27, 6 to 12, 150. So the advanced cannon is uh, quite a bit better. So we're going to switch over to that soon maybe not right away but soon uh, let's see let's go ahead and start on the heavy laser as well and uh, actually if I go to production okay yeah there's that I'm not gonna build it yet cuz I'm spending a lot of money on this stuff and man the med kits oh you need them but they're very very expensive all right let's go ahead and intercept all right let's see if we can wait for a day mission okay um, I'm going to go ahead and re-equip everybody off screen, and then we will start the next episode with this mission. So, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.